is your circuit news update. I'm Mark Kolarski. Athletes of all ages showed up to take on the fifth annual Tri by Night Triathlon at Warburg College on May 7th. Over 200 people signed up to compete. Race director Carrie Tisdall says she would not have had the race without the help of her volunteers. We have uh, great support from both the college and the community and our volunteers, and um, they're here bright and early. We have them here at 6 in the morning, and they really do a great job, and we've gotten a lot of positive feedback. Because of all the work it takes to make this event happen, Tisdall says she will start planning next year's triathlon in a couple of weeks. The 18th annual Waverly Shell Rock Soccer Tournament brought 30 teams together to plan an all-day event on May 7th. 18 varsity and 12 junior varsity teams from around Iowa competed. Head Athletic Director at Waverly Shell Rock High School, David Litterer, says this kind of event takes a lot of planning, and there is no other tournament like this in all of Iowa. It's probably the largest high school tournament in the state of Iowa for a one-day event that's, that's out there. But we couldn't do it without this kind of a facility either. Litterer says this tournament has been around for 18 years, and the number of teams has grown from 4 to 30 in that time. He says the facility they have makes all of this possible. Waverly's 11th annual Waverly's 11th annual Art Walk was held in Coleman Park on May 7th. People came out to look at the different pieces of art from over 30 different artists. In addition to looking at art, the Art Walk featured several different bands for the public to listen to. Art Walk director Jennifer Jones Ruiz says even though there is a lot of work involved, she likes to plan this event every year. I really do enjoy it. Um, there's different people every year and I just, the day of is, is just, um, and it's a rewarding thing to see, you know, all the artists come to the park. Refreshments were served at the event and there were also activities for kids organized by the Waverly Co-op. Even though the Warburg women's basketball team made it to the Final Four in the 2015-2016 season, head coach Bob Amsbury has always been more concerned with how his players turn out as opposed to the score of the game. Sophomore basketball player Aaron Jones says she appreciates how much Ansbury cares about his players. He wants you to do well on the court, he wants you to do well in school, he wants you to do well in life, and he's working on shaping us into good people more than just great athletes, and I, I really respect that and I like that a lot. Amesbury will look to connect with his players more next season. I'm Mark Nalewski, and that's the Circuit News.